Today's demo will focus on CockroachDB serverless with multi-region enabled, but specifically in the area of regional tables. In this example, I'll connect to an existing CockroachDB cluster that's multi-region enabled, installed across Europe, the Americas, and Singapore, and I'll create some tables to demonstrate why the regional tables topology pattern is useful. First, I'll connect to the database in my local region. I'll create a database called example, and I'll make sure that regions are enabled for this database. We might see some errors if the regions are already being used by other databases, but we can ignore those. Next, I'll create two tables. I'll create one called member default region. This doesn't have any region configuration at all. And next, I'll create another table that is region aware. The locality of this table will be regional by row, which is what we're focusing on today. I'll insert data into both of those tables. It's going to be very similar data to demonstrate the differences between the two. We'll insert data where the usernames are Japan user, UK user, and US user. And into the member table, the region aware table, we'll insert Japan user, UK user, and US user, but with the regions that correspond to their closest region. If we look at the create statement for the table that isn't region aware, we'll see that the locality is regional by table in the primary region. This will ensure that the table is within the primary region. I'll now perform a select against both tables, and we'll see that while the latency is okay from the table that doesn't have any regional awareness, the latency from the region aware table is pretty poor. I'll now show you the gateway region that I'm connected to, and that will explain what's happening with the first query. My region unaware table is located in EU Central 1, whereas I'm connected to EU West 1. That's because the gateway node that I'm connected to happens to exist in West 1. Now, you might be looking at the regional table and thinking, this is poor, why would I use that topology pattern? The database has actually been distributed across the world. So my query is slow because I'm requesting data from the whole table, which exists globally. If I execute the query again, but only filter for the data that's in my local region, the query will be much snappier. So rather than taking 600 milliseconds, it's now taken 139 milliseconds. And that's because of the network transfer between the primary region and the gateway region that I'm connected to. Let's see what things look like from a user closer to Japan. If I perform the same query against the table that's not region aware, we'll see that it does take longer than the previous query. The data is having to travel further from the primary region. If I select everything from the table that is region aware, we'll see similar latencies to the unfiltered query that we ran in the previous example. If I restrict the query to just pull back local rows, the query performance is much better again. The region I'm in is Singapore. And that's where my queries are being executed against. To summarize, just by creating a regional by row table doesn't make your queries fast. You need to be aware that the data will be geographically distributed across your CockroachDB nodes. And you'll need to add filters to that data in order to make sure that the data is coming from your closest region. There's also regional by table. So if you don't want to store different rows in different localities and you want to store the whole table in a specific locality, regional by table works well for that.